Okay, so I've got over $800 worth of games in these boxes right now. Now I know you may be asking the question, why the hell would I buy $800 worth of games? Well, that's a good question. Uh, it's a question I've asked myself a couple of times before all these boxes came in. And the short answer is I want to build a collection. And I'm trying to do it in a way that I think will be feasible. I'm gonna explain that to you a little bit, but before I do, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Now, how am I I gonna build a collection when I'm dropping hundreds of dollars on games? Well, by bargain shopping. What, 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 what? Another question you may have, well, how the hell are you bargain shopping spending $800? That doesn't seem like a bargain to me. Well, you're gonna get an idea of how good of a bargain I got when I open these boxes and I show you the things that I have inside. My goal is to build up a collection of video games that cost me $0 to own. And in order to do that, I have to spend money. That don't make no sense. So I'm looking online at all these different places. Whoever is out here selling old retro games for a reasonable price, I try to jump on that and then flip what I do not need or what I can sell for a good amount of profit so that I can recoup all of the money that I spent and keep all of the excess. So what I'm gonna do so you have an idea of how much I spent and how much the games are worth, it's gonna be a little ticker right here. So the goal is I spent $800 and all of the games that I unbox and share with you guys are gonna be worth more than at $800 I spent and I will sell $800 worth of these games and keep the rest having spent $0 because I've recouped all of my money on everything that I purchased. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and begin this unboxing process. Let's go ahead and see what this first package is. All right, this first one came all the way from North Carolina and we've got... Nice. This is Star Fox 64 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. The not for resale version. It doesn't have the case so that kind of knocks down the value of it a little bit. And as you can see, the value of that game was put down there on the bottom left. All right, let's move on to the next package. We got this package right here. This is from Center Point, Alabama. Shouts out to Center Point. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh. New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. Fantastic game. It is the full box. Got the manual. Love when I can get the full box. All right, let's see what else we've got. And this one here is from San Antonio, Texas. I was there a few years ago. Dope, dope place. You got a couple of Nintendo Switch games. All right, so we've got Has Been Heroes for the Nintendo Switch, and we've got The Troll and I. Unfortunately, this may be a game I have to keep because I don't think it's worth that much. Let's move on. We got this box up front here. You can't see it in the shot. This joint right here, this is from Newport News, Virginia. I got family down in VA. Go ahead and see what we got in here. Ah, ooh, what's this? Oh, so these are some Super NES games. Let's go ahead and check them out. Ah. First up, we've got Doom. Next up, we've got Mortal Kombat 2, classic game. Next up, we've got Super Mario World. And we've got Star Fox. Yet another classic game. It was like one of the first 3D games ever on a Nintendo console. All right, next up, we've got another little small package up front here. This one is from Omaha, Nebraska. Ooh. This is Cool Spot for the Super NES. I don't know if you ever played Cool Spot. I was addicted to this game when I was a kid. This is a cool pickup. All right, next up we got this package right here. This is from, this is from New Jersey. I live in Jersey right now. So shouts out to my neighbor who sent this to me. Ooh. In here we've got a Game Boy Advance. Advance. And it's in really good condition too. Like this is really dope. There's actually a few games in here as well. There's one in the system itself. We've got, okay, SpongeBob SquarePants, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Next up, we got Pitfall, the Mind Adventure. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 as well. I love Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. And finally, we've got Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers 3. Fantastic game. One of the best Game Boy Advance games ever, period, hands down. All right, we're about to get into a couple of bigger boxes now. Both of these boxes are from the same person, Madison Heights, Virginia. Shouts out to VA, VA over here taking over this whole hall. Let's see what we got in these. Bang. Ah. We've got some NES games. All right, so first up, we've got The Karate Kid. We've got Top Gun. You've also got Friday the 13th, and we've got Ghostbusters 2. In the other box here, let's check this out. Right. We've got Bases Loaded 3. We've got Ice Hockey. We've got Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge, and we've got Double Dribble. All right, we get into the bigger boxes now. We got three more boxes here. We got one. 
You got two. I can't even pick this up. Wow, this is heavy. And we've got three over here. Let's get through this one right here. This is from Richmond, Virginia. Shouts out to all my VA heads. Are you guys like collecting crazy out there? I gotta find out. I'm trying to stack, so we, we gotta figure that out. Let's open this joint up. On. They put the bees in there. The pack of bees. Get up. Get out. All right. What I've got in my hands here are Atari 2600 games. If you're a young head, you may know about it like in passing, but you really don't know about the Atari 2600. I think it's a little bit older than me. When did the Atari 2600 come out? Atari 2600 was published September 11th, 1977. Okay, I'm good money. I'm good money. It's definitely older than me. <laughs> it's a lot older than me. All right, let's go through them. First up, we've got Star Raiders. Next up, we've got Kangaroo. Next up, we got Demon Attack. This joint looks a little busted, as you can see on the side there. We've got Jungle Hunt. You've got Activision's Chopper Command. Get to the chopper! <laughs> we got a classic game here, Cuber. Of course, you got the classic Pac-Man. Got another classic here. We got Dig Dug. We've got ourselves some Space Invaders. And these final two here are the two that I'm definitely keeping. Donkey Kong Jr. and Mario Bros. Definitely staying in my collection. Are you kidding me? And they're in really, really great condition. I'm super excited about these. All right, so let's get to the second largest box of this haul. Put this to the side real quick. Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, if I ever had to make a list of like my top five consoles ever, this system would be in that top five, undoubtedly. And that is the classic Sega Dreamcast. Dreamcast is a lot heavier than I remember it being. This joint is weighty as hell. You got two Dreamcast controllers here. The buttons and joysticks feel good. One of the controllers came with the VMU inside of it. If you don't know about the VMU, look it up. It's one of the coolest little innovations that the Dreamcast had. Ooh, we also got a, a second VMU in here as well. And we've got this little gun here. This is a Starfire Light Blaster by Interact. This is cool. And the rest that's in this box are some Dreamcast games. All right, so first up, we've got House of the Dead 2. Next up, we've got Sonic Adventures 2. And we've also got Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. And we've got Project Justice in the original case with the manual. This joint right here is worth a couple of pennies. <laughs> I am excited to have this so I can sell it. Congratulations to whoever gets this. And lastly, we've got Grandia 2. And now it's time to get into the piece de resistance. Let me move this out the way, though. All right, so now we're down to the final box. Yo, this joint is so heavy. I'm not even joking. This is ridiculous. This was coming all the way from Hilton, Oklahoma. Let's go. Bang. <laughs> yes. This is the mother load here, people. Let me move this over here. First up, we've got a bunch of controllers here for the Nintendo 64. These are all bootleg N64 controllers. They have no Nintendo logo anywhere to be found. These will be sold. But what I am excited to have in my collection now, though, is this. This is the Fantastic Green Nintendo 64. I want to eventually have all the Fantastic colors. I've also got some more controllers here, though, as well. Let me show you these. I've got four NES and two Super NES controllers. As you can see a couple of them are a little bit different than the other two. They are red and black. Why? Because they are controllers from this. This is the Retron 2, which is a system that plays NES and Super NES games. It's a cool little console here if you have classic games. I'm not keeping this. I'm going to sell this because I want the actual consoles. I do have the NES. I'm going to get myself a Super NES. And so, of course, you've got the Retron Super NES controller here, and you've got the Retron NES controller. And then we have a bunch of official NES and Super NES controllers here. I'm going to be getting rid of of a couple of these, but the Super NES joint looks in good condition. Also inside the box, we got ourselves a Nintendo 64 jumper pack, and we've got a controller pack as well. All right, let's get into these games. We're gonna start with the Nintendo 64 games. So we've got Twisted Edge, Extreme Snowboarding. We've got Revolt here, NFL Quarterback Club 99, NFL Blitz 2000. As you can see, there's a lot of writing on these cartridges, so I'm gonna have to be putting a lot of work to clean this stuff up so I can get the best value out of it. You got Top Gear Overdrive. You've got All-Star Base. 2001. We got Knockout Kings 2000. We got Cruising USA. We've got NASCAR 99. We got Fighting Force 64. 
WWF attitude. This game sucked. <laughs> got another cruising game here, cruising world. We got Battle Tank here. We got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. We got Star Wars Episode One Racer. We got WCW Mayhem. Of course, you got the classic 007 Golden Eye. Another classic Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I love this game. We've got Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Got a classic right here, Donkey Kong 64. Why did you write all over your stuff, Weston? You got another classic here, Diddy Kong Racing. You got the legendary Mario Kart 64. And one of the greatest games of all time, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And one of the most iconic Mario games ever, Super Mario 64. And the final Nintendo 64 game in this hall is the legendary Super Smash Brothers. And I'm not even done with this box yet. Let's get into these Super NES games. Starting out with Aladdin. And we got the classic Page Man. Master. We've also got UN Squadron. We've got Monopoly. We've got a game that I really, really loved. I hope I don't have to sell this joint. And that's X Men Mutant Apocalypse. Next up, we've got The Tick. And the last two, we've got Yoshi Safari. This is in great condition. And finally, one of the greatest games of all time Super Mario World. All right, so now I'm down to the final hall of games. We've got Jeopardy. We've got RC Pro Am. We've got ourselves some bad news baseball here. We've got Pro Wrestling. We've got the classic Excite Bike. We got bases loaded here, Kung Fu, Taito's Operation Wolf. We got Rad Racer here, and we've got Dance Aerobics. Way before Just Dance, we had ourselves some Dance Aerobics. We got Skull and Crossbones here. This is an unlicensed tension game for the NES. We've got King's Knight here. We got two copies here of Dragon Spirit. I don't know why he's got two copies. We got the classic Duck Hunt here, but he also has Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt combined. But then he also has the Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt World Clash Track Meet combination. And not just one of them, he had two of them. <laughs> why Why did he have all these different, I don't know. Next up, a classic, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. And another classic here, Mega Man 3. This right here is a gem, but I'm not done. Also inside, there was this box here. It says Nintendo up front. I don't know if this is an official Nintendo box. It is old and rusty now. And inside, we've got some more games. We got a classic right here. This is the Jungle Book. We've got golf as well. Also got Shadow of the Ninja. And we've got Journey to Silius. We got another classic here, Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. We've got the legend himself, the original Popeye. We've got a busted up Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. I wish this was in better condition. I would want to keep it. It's really not in good condition, so this one's gotta go. Another classic here, we've got Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I'm glad it's the Mike Tyson version. And the classic, the legendary Ninja Gaiden. And the last game in this little box here is another legendary classic game, Metroid. And if you thought that was it, you're wrong. These last three games came in the original boxes. And the first one is one that I already talked about, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. He's got the original box for the joint. And another copy of the freaking game. This one is the standard gray cartridge. And it's got the manual in here too. Like, that's dope. Next up, we've got Phantom Fighter. This one doesn't have a manual, but check it out. And finally, to round off this entire haul here, the last game in this pickup curve Kirby's Adventure. Classic NES game here. Doesn't have a manual. It does have one of the original Nintendo slips here. So that's cool. And so how did I do? Check out that number right there. That is how much all of the games that I've got here today are worth. I think I did a pretty good job. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sell off a number of these games to recoup that $800 and then keep the rest. If you like what you saw here, if you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know. I'll do another one and I can't wait to share more with you guys. Yeah.